would frustrate me. Like, with everything, you get it so easy. You know, yeah, waking up, and waking up in the morning, for example, you run your fingers through the hair and be like, I'm done. Yeah, we have to more. spend hours by that mirror making ourselves look pretty. Or, or even finding a job. We sit there for hours filling out those applications, filling out those references, and when you go up to your bed and be like, hey man, That's need some help doing that task? No, 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 don't even interrupt me. And bam, you have a job like that. We also have to do all the housework, like cook, do the dishes, clean the house, run the dog, run the errands. I mean, the list keeps going on and on and on. You come back from work, lay down on that couch, the remote in one hand, beer in the other, and be like, I'm tired. What's the point in all this? Oh, at least we women have lower blood pressure than men. I don't believe it. I wonder if there's a way that we could test the fact that women really do have lower blood pressure than men. Hi, let's see if we can solve this couple's problem. My name is John. I'm not a doctor, but I play one in statistics. Now, the Center for Disease Control states that the human blood pressure is approximately 130 over 80. But before we can test their statistic that, or their claim, that a woman's blood pressure is less than a male's, we need to ask ourselves a few questions. First, does our female and male population actually have blood pressures? We must have blood pressures to do the statistic. Second, does a human female actually have a lower blood pressure than a human male? That is our claim. Third, is the human sample population that being tested either female or male? This is a yes or no question. If our answer is no, they will not fulfill our sample. Lastly, can we define our age restriction for age for our adults? And for us, in this sample group, all adults will be at the age of 18 or over. Next, we need to do the quantitative data. First, instead of dealing with systolic and diastolic blood pressures, we need to do an amine arterial blood pressure, or a MAP, for both the male and female sample population. Next, we can use the average of both male and female samples for the purpose of our statistic. And lastly, our research team will use the sample numbers from both sample groups to provide the most accurate statistic to prove the claim that a female's blood pressure is less than a male's. Let's see our researchers in action. Hi, here we have two independent samples. Our hypothesis here is women average blood pressure is less than that of men. H1 is our claim. Mu1 minus mu2 is less than zero. Here we have three independent, uh, independent data, data, data chart. The total distribution for male and female is our data right here, and the distribution for male is our data and female distrib uh, age distribution. The mean artillery blood pressure represents the female and male of, in an independent study. Our test, our test result here for combined male and female, mean artillery blood pressure is 92.62 and female mean artillery blood pressure is 87. Male mean artillery blood pressure is 96. Our test statistic here is negative 3.75, which four out of context with the confidence interval of mu minus two, mu one minus mu two. Since P value is 0 0.019 and alpha is 0 0.05, we reject H naught. This means that there is enough evidence to support the claim that women's blood pressure is lower than men's. Oh, damn those test statistics! That confidence interval is completely negative! That does mean that women have lower blood pressure than men. See? I was right. Ha! Oh, please. So does that mean that I should go to the spa? That I should get my mani and pedi? That I should get...